Today, I've got lots to say. Welcome in, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Oh my gosh, you guys might remember that epic makeup haul I did back in November and December and a little bit in January and maybe last week as well. Today, I'm going to be reviewing some of the products I've been testing and trying, and I've got lots of opinions. And by the way, if you see cat hair, just pretend like you didn't. If you're new here, I'm so glad you stopped by. I hope you'll consider subscribing while you're here and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. We're gonna launch right into the makeup reviews today. And as always, all products that I mentioned today will be listed and linked below, so super easy for you to find. And with that, let's hop into it. I have a wide range of products today from drugstore to high end, and spoiler alert, I think almost all of them, with the exception of one, are real big thumbs up from me. So this is a video all about things that are really, really worth the money. First product I want to talk about today is one that I'm sort of on the fence about. I have been testing and trying this Tatcha, the Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. And you know what? I like this primer. I really do. One of the things I can say is that it really does create a beautiful canvas for your makeup. Here's the issue I have with this primer. It's $52, <laughs> and as much as I like it, I don't know if I like it $52 worth. I think that's a pretty high price for a primer that is nice. It's not a game changer for me. It didn't completely upend my makeup routine. It didn't necessarily make my foundation look extraordinarily different or better than other drugstore primers I've used. One of the things I can say about this particular primer is that one pump is plenty. When I used more than one pump, it seemed to have a negative effect on the way my makeup looked. So one pump is really plenty for my whole face. It does have a scent and it's kind of a combination of lemon and candy or something. I really can't figure it out. The scent doesn't linger, at least for me. So if you're cautious about scents, I can say this one pretty much fades away right away. This primer does soak into the skin really nicely. It feels really good just even going on my hand. I like it a lot. I think the issue that I have is the price point. I think $52, and I'm pretty sure it's $52. That's not the amount, I apologize, but it's somewhere close to there. I just think that that is a little bit high for what you get with this particular primer. So the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer, I like it. I don't like the price point. I'm pretty sure that all the makeup I'm going to be talking about today is on my face with just a couple of exceptions and I'll go ahead and shout them out when those come up. Next I want to talk about the Violet Boss Cool Vibes Palette and I am wearing this today. If I could have a love affair with an eyeshadow palette this would be the one. There is something about this palette that I love working with. Of course, I am wearing it today. First, I put down the base color right here, and then I used Cool Side all over my lids, almost up to the brow bone, and then I did just a little detail work in the outside corner with this Stone Cold Matte color right here. I love this palette so much. For me, this is exactly what an eyeshadow palette should be. This is the first product I've used from Violet Boss and I couldn't be more over the moon. First of all, this colorway is absolutely stunning. And of course, it's very, very similar to the Natasha Denona Glam eyeshadow palette, but there's something about the tones in here that are just a little bit different, super sophisticated. The finishes are absolutely gorgeous in this palette. Let me go ahead and just swatch a few of them so you can see just the quality of the eyeshadows in this palette. The palette itself can look very cool, but as a matter of fact, it really is kind of cool and warm and a little bit neutral. There is such a range of colors in this palette, and I'll tell you, the formulas are absolutely delicious and yummy. Blending these shadows out is an absolute dream. They look so good on the lid. They set down so beautifully. Every single finish has just been a delight to work with. I love, love, love this palette. And would you take a look at the pan sizes in this palette? They're absolutely huge. I don't know if I'm ever gonna hit pan on this palette no matter how much I use it. Of all the palettes that I have tried recently, and I've tried 
few, I can say that this is probably just one of my absolute favorites. So the Cool Vibes palette from Violet Voss, I hope it's still available. It's so very good. If you love these types of tones, I can tell you I think you're going to be absolutely over the moon with this palette. Next, we're going to jump into a great drugstore eyeshadow palette. I picked this up during the holiday season. I saw it in my local Walmart, and the reason I got it is because I thought it was so stinking cute in this packaging. I mean, come on, this little bow and the plaid, I thought it was just adorable. This is from Perfusion, and if you haven't used the Perfusion eyeshadow palettes, I can tell you if you go to try one, you're going to be absolutely blown away with how good the formulas are in the Perfusion palettes. Most of the Perfusion palettes run around five to $10. I think this one might have been around 12 just because it has more colors in here and it's a little bit fancier packaging. I'm pretty sure they put it together as a gift item for the holiday season. I use this in a Get Ready With Me and I'll tell you what, these formulas are just yummy and wonderful. It really is amazing how good the Perfusion line of eyeshadows are for a very, very affordable drugstore price. This particular palette, I picked it up because it looked pretty neutral to me. However, what I can say is most of the colors really tone out warm. So if you're a warm lover, I can tell you you're going to love this palette. The formulas are great. They lay down beautiful. There's a good combination of shimmers and mattes and a little bit of satins in this palette. Really, really a great value. And look at the color selection in here. You could do a different look every day for a month and not duplicate anything. So loving this little Perfusion palette, but you know what? I have loved almost every single Perfusion palette that I have purchased. I generally pick mine up at Walmart when I'm just doing other shopping. I sort of drift into the makeup department. You know how that goes. And I'll end up throwing a Perfusion palette in my cart because they're so very affordable. Here's one thing to look for with Perfusion palettes. If you want to pick up an exciting color like a blue tone or green tone palette, but you don't want to pay a lot because you know you're not going to use it that much, it's just sort of something fun that you put together every now and again. Check out the Perfusion line because they really do have some glorious colorful palettes that are so affordable that you won't feel like you're wasting your money just to get something you're going to use from time to time. So absolutely loving the Perfusion palette. I would love to tell you the name of it, but there's absolutely no titling or no copy on this. I'll look it up and have it linked for you down in the description box. Next up is a mascara that I've been testing and trying, and I've been testing and trying a lot of mascaras. I actually picked up several higher-end mascaras during the sale season in November and December. This is the first one I've tried that I could say rivals my drugstore favorites. This is Roller Lash from Benefit. If you haven't heard about this mascara, you're going to want to hear about it today. This is a great little mascara. It is, of course, a little bit higher price point. It comes with a standard length mascara wand and then rubber bristles on the end. I happen to prefer rubber bristles. It seems like it separates my lashes and just applies the product in a much smoother, non-clumping way. If you don't like a rubber wand, you're not going to like this. This is the first mascara that I can say I like almost as much as my Maybelline Sky High Mascara. You guys know I've been in love with this for the longest time. This is a drugstore price mascara. You can see my tube is pretty funky because I use the heck out of this. This is the first mascara that I can say really comes close to my Maybelline Sky High. The difference for me is this doesn't volumize quite as much as my Maybelline Sky High. It does lengthen. It puts down a really beautiful black color. Of course, it's what I'm wearing today and makes my lashes look spectacular. It's just for me, not quite as volumizing as my Maybelline Sky High. I have been using this fairly regularly because I like the way my lashes look. They're a little bit more lighter and fluttery with this formula than with the Maybelline Sky High. So if you prefer that, I can tell you this is a great mascara. I don't know how long it's going to last or if I'm going to go through the tube fairly quickly, but I can tell you what, I'm a big fan of the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara.
Now I want to talk about a brush that I've been using so much and loving so much and a lot of you have asked me about this brush as well. This is a brush from Beauty Pie. If you're not familiar with Beauty Pie, Beauty Pie is like a club that you join. You pay a membership fee. It's an annual fee. It's pretty reasonable and you get access to some really great products at really amazing affordable prices. It's a little bit like joining a shopping club where that fee that you pay annually kind of offsets the higher prices of the products that they offer. This brush has been so handy and I use it all the time. I use this for my blush and I use this for my highlight. I love this brush. It is so stinking handy. You know, one thing I can say about Beauty Pie is if you are a member, go on the website and shop around because I have found so many individual products from Beauty Pie that I think are so good and have really become regular parts of my beauty routine. This brush is one. Of course, you guys know the Under Eye Genius is another. I can't stop using this or talking about it. And they also have a hand cream. I think it's like fig hand cream or something. Oh my gosh. That stuff smells so good and is so delicious and so yummy. It really is a beautiful product. If you're a Beauty Pie member, go ahead and surf around the site and see if there are other things that you can find that you might enjoy. I'll go ahead and have the brush linked down below. If you're not a member, go check it out. I've got a discount code for your membership that makes it really super affordable. Love the Beauty Pie line. I think there's so many great products there. Next up is a foundation. I'll tell you what, I just about lost my mind the first time I used this. I had been hearing so much about the Maybelline Fit Me line. It has a complete line of makeup products, foundation and powder, and I think there's a concealer and some other products. I had never tried anything in the Fit Me line. I was in Walmart shopping in the makeup department and I saw this and I thought I would just throw it in my cart. It's super, super affordable. Oh my gosh, this is such a wonderful wonderful foundation at a really, really affordable price. It's what I'm wearing on my skin today, and the first time I used it, I about lost my mind at how good it was. This is a great little drugstore foundation. It lays down beautifully, no polka dot pores, taps out so nicely with the sponge. I love everything about this foundation except, check this out you guys, it doesn't have a pump or a dropper or anything. It's just one of those you put on your finger and then you put that on your face. I don't know. I think they could have made a little bit of an effort and put a pump on this thing. If this had a pump, I would absolutely love it even more. But if you're looking for a great foundation from the drugstore, I can highly recommend this. I use this fairly often just for regular everyday makeup. It really is very pretty. I picked it up in the color 110, which works well for my skin. Absolutely huge love affair with the Maybelline Fit Me dewy and smooth foundation. I picked up the Milk Hydro Grip. This is an eyeshadow primer during the sale season. This was so talked about and so popular. Everybody was giving it a whirl. And you know what? I tried it and like, mm, you know, it just didn't wow me that much. There wasn't anything about this particular eyeshadow primer that I felt was better or different or over the moon or gave me any benefits that my Milani or my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer gives me. It is a little bit gripping, but you know what? So are the rest of the eyeshadow primers I use. It comes with a doe foot applicator and you just sort of put that on your lids. Here's probably one of the reasons why I'm not crazy about this is that it is clear on my lids. Because I'm older, I'm 65, my lids are veiny and discolored and so I like an eyeshadow primer that really covers up that discoloration before I start in with my eyeshadow. This absolutely does not do that because it's clear. I don't know that the gripping nature of this primer really makes it worth it for the fact that it doesn't cover up my veins and discoloration. So for me, this milk primer, it might be great for younger girls girls. For me, with my more mature lids, it's pretty much a hard pass. This is the Brow Pop Eyebrow Pencil. You know, I like the color very much. It comes with a spoolie right here and an angled little 
pencil right down here. I like the consistency of the pencil. In other words, it's not too hard. It's not too soft. It really creates a nice coloration in the brows. And this taupe color, and I'll have it listed down in the description box what color this is. I can't read this writing without my glasses. I like this color very much. It's what I have on my brows today. Here's the deal. This is a higher end brow pencil, and I can't say that this does anything better or different than my dress store brow pencils. Both the Revlon Color Stay Brow Creator, which I love, and the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencils, those are the two that I really use quite a bit. They're very good. They're very affordable. That's not to say I don't like this brow pencil. I really do. I just don't know if it's worth the higher end price. It is a good formula. I do like that little triangle shape right there. The spoolie is wonderful, but is it worth the higher end price? I don't know, you guys. For me, it just isn't. I'll tell you what is worth the price. These little bite-sized palettes from e.l.f. This is a blush and a highlighter combination, and these come, gosh, in six or seven or maybe even eight different colorways. This is the one that I use today. This is the colorway Lychee, and oh my gosh, these are so worth it. I think these are three or four dollars. You can pick them up in any Walmart. You can get them on the Ulta website. You can get them on the Elf website. These are so very good. This is what I've got on today and the lychee color is so pretty and this highlight it looks like it would be too dark but that's what I have on and I think it just creates the most beautiful look on the complexion. So the highlight is here. I've got a little bit of eyeshadow still up there. So the highlight is here and this is the blush color. How pretty pretty is that blush color. Kind of a terracotta with a little bit of peach undertone. These are so very good. I have a few other colorways in my to try makeup bucket. I'll be using those in the coming weeks and months. If you've been looking at these and you just weren't sure if they were going to be any good because of the low price point, I can tell you what, these are really, really worth it. And the last thing I want to talk about today is this line of lipsticks from Milani. I think it's called the Matte Fetish or the Fetish Matte Line or something like this. These have been so very popular and they've been very, very hard to find. Milani first came out with six neutral tone matte colors and they just recently came out with six pink tones or spring tones in the same matte formula. Oh my gosh. These almost rival my high-end lipsticks and of course it's what I'm wearing on my lips today. The color that I have on today, this is the color Secret from the original Milani line of neutrals. I mean how gorgeous is that? It's just the beautiful combination of a pinky terracotta neutral. It is so beautiful. Here's what I love about these Milani formulas. These feel as rich and creamy as my Huda Beauty lipsticks. You guys know that I love Huda Beauty lipsticks. And I'll tell you what, when I swatch this on the back of my hand, this is the Huda and this is the Milani. I really can't tell any difference in the formula. And I can even say that I think the Milani is a little bit heavier or richer or deeper. I really do prefer matte lipsticks because when I wear a gloss, it ends up in my lip lines and it's just not a good look. So I've been choosing matte lipsticks and if I want a little bit of gloss and I'll put a little bit right in the middle of my lip. I don't have any gloss on today. It is just the Milani lipstick. What I can tell you about the Milani matte line of lipsticks, they're really, really good. Six neutrals, six more pinky tones that just came out for spring. I sometimes find them in my local Walmart, just hit and miss. There may be some colors available and I'll just go ahead and grab them when I can. So absolutely loving this new line of lipsticks from Milani. Well, that's the straight scoop on products that are really worth your money and a few that maybe aren't. I hope you found these makeup reviews helpful and fun. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 and over 60 woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. You guys know it just tickles me when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that, and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.